little more breaking news on a Monday here. Jaden Quaintance is not going where anybody thought Jaden Quaintance was going. Jaden Quaintance has committed to Arizona State. What are you doing with your hands? Uh, money, 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 money. Money. Yeah, a lot of it. A Brinks truck full of it. I have follow-up questions on that, though. It, it, his other finalists are also money schools. Greg, what's the first word you said when you got off the plane for the Final Four? I love it here. Where were we at? Arizona. Yeah, there you go. But that boy, pulled, that boy pulled up the one pool party at Tempe and the check cleared. And he said, ah, me like you. Do you think that Arizona State offered him more money than his other schools? Because, I mean, reportedly Kentucky and Arkansas wanted this kid, and yes. both those schools are paying huge money. Does Arizona State have deeper bags than Arkansas? I think Jaden Quayton is might be the highest paid player in college basketball next season. How? How does Arizona State have more money than John Calipari in Kentucky? Because their money is more distributed. Their whole NIL budget is probably going to Quaintance. <laughs> so you think this is going to be the biggest overpay in college basketball? I don't know. He might be nasty. That's the thing. Talk to me on Quaintance's game. What do you What do you think of him as a player? I I mean I said it in the video we did the the preview of him or like the you know where where might he go situation. I, I he gives me Jalen Duran vibes. Like, I think that's what he kind of looks like at the college level. Um, and Jalen Duran, I think, was pretty good at Memphis. So uh, I, I think he's a player who I project to be in the NBA um, and be a first-round lottery-level pick uh, when he does decide to come out. Um, and, you know, we stated in the video on this, like, he's going to play in college for two years, or at least he has to do something for two years before entering the draft. Um, so you could see him at Arizona State for two years, possibly. Okay. I, um, I, he doesn't strike me as an in college for multiple years guy. Now, unless he goes the Dickinson route, right? Cause it is the NIL era. So like Quaintance could sign for one year with Arizona state and then immediately portal and go back for higher bids. <laughs> like we car, it, there's a chance that this player goes down as maybe the most successful NIL hunter in college basketball history. Yeah, I mean, you, you know how we've done those situations where you're like, hey, Carter, how would you operate if you were in this NIL era? Yeah, this this one's it. This is how I would operate. <laughs> so I don't – Coach, the offense is extremely, extremely cute. I have a blank check here. I've had every coach fill this out and put a number on here. Only one number. We're not going to do a bidding war here. Can you pay this? Can you do this? I'm a, I'm a, I'm forks up, whatever it is. Isn't, isn't some, forks up? There we go. That's all it takes. Is this a Hurley Hurleying right now? I mean, obviously Bobby Hurley is not Danny Hurley as a basketball coach, but this feels like a Hurley-ish move. But oh, a hundred percent is a Hurley-ish move. This like this 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 is giving like there's nothing that there's nothing more Arizona State heritage than somehow pulling a five star big man out of their ass out of nowhere. Like this is what they do. Shout out to Enoch uh, Buake, I think his name was. I was like, going to say, what they you, do. you're a fan of a program that once lost a five-star center to Arizona State in decommitment, money-chasing mode. That player was Enoch Boache. Enoch Boache ended up being awful. Yeah. Yeah, he did, but he got his bag, though. Is there a chance that Jaden Quaintance ends up being awful? I don't think so. I think he's, I think he's actually – I think he's going to be a special basketball player. Okay. All right. It's good to have you on record with that. I think he's really good too. I, I, I hate this move. I'll just straight up say it. Uh, it's kind of like the Stoyakovich one to me. Um, to me, if you are actually a good basketball player with hopes of getting to the NBA, you have to make serious decisions. This, this is an unserious decision to me. Like you had a chance to play for John Calipari at Arkansas for serious money or to play at Kentucky Biggest brand in the sport for serious money. And you chose to play for Bobby Hurley at Arizona State. Like, I, and I get it can work. Like, there, there have been guys to pass through Arizona State that end up being really, really good. Like, I, I don't mean to say that cannot happen. But it just feels so 
icky to me, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I, I worry we're never going to hear from him again. Yeah, that sucks. I, I, cause I feel that's kind of where it's leaning towards. And I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. It's gross. Uh, but the, but the bag, the bag was incredible. I already, I don't, I, I really want to know what that number was. I think it's stupid. Who's the best player to come through Arizona state recently? Re- recently. It's like Josh Christopher, right? Lou Dort. Yeah, okay. Remy Martin was really good too. Yeah. I mean, not like we're not doing all time, right? I'm just doing like in the Bobby Hurley era. Like, do, does anyone actually go there and like fulfill their promise? Uh, not, not, no. Like, to, to me, Josh Christopher's like the best case study, and he was pretty underwhelming on a horrible team with a lot of talent. Yeah, my first thought whenever I think Arizona State is careers go there to die. That's what makes me so sad about Queens. I think he's a really good player, and it's like we just plucked like a Boogie Cousins level fun guy and dropped him on a horrible situation instead of at a team where he could win and play a big role and get paid for doing it. Yay, NIO. Also, can we talk about how Bobby Hurley has a better center than Danny Hurley? Yeah. Why is he going to Arizona State? Can, can we do a little sign and trade here? <laughs> like, what is what? Is, can we get like Solomon Ball and like an extra two hundred k in NIL for Quaintance? And we'll give you Terrace. <laughs> that would work too. Frankie okay. Collins had so much fun in Tempe. Let's just send them all there. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't take this more serious. I tried my best. Congrats to Jaden Quaintance, who I will now refer to going forward as Money Quaintance. Ooh, I like that. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by my bookie. Carter, tell the people about my bookie. My bookie is the official sports book of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, my bookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. All you have to do is use promo code sleepers. That's promo code sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness, maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at my bookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code sleepers. 